Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Vinny, and today I'm here to walk you through some of the features of Advanced Insights. Advanced Insights collects your sales transactions and cross-references that with anonymized customer data to generate reports that go beyond the basic. These reports are designed to give you a clear picture of what is and what isn't working in your business. It's important to note that you need to be signed up for Lightspeed Payments to access Advanced Insights. If you'd like to learn more about Lightspeed Payments, we've got a link in the description with all the details. To get started, sign into your back office and click on Advanced Insights on the sidebar menu. Let's dive into the menu reports. First up is the Item Popularity Report. The Item Popularity Dashboard is designed to highlight your top selling items, so you can see what's selling at a glance. You'll also be able to spot which items bring customers back and which ones are driving your profits. This report generates a bar chart that lists menu items sorted by the number of sales or the total value of sales in your currency. There's an item sold filter in the top right that allows you to switch between the two. You can also filter by group so you can see at a glance which drinks or meals are your best sellers. Simply check or uncheck a group to the left of the chart to select which groups are listed. There are two other filters worth noting here, and you'll see them in other reports. The first is a toggle to switch between gross and net sales. Selecting gross sales will show the total value of your sales. Selecting net sales will subtract taxes and applied reductions or discounts from your gross sales. The third filter lets you pick the time period you want to look at. Whether it's yesterday's sales, last week's, or even last month's, you can use the drop-down to pick a date range for your report. If you want to see a wider range, you can manually enter the start and end dates above the calendar and click Apply. Clicking on any of the items listed reveals a scorecard that highlights key metrics associated with that item. Starting at the top, we can see the default price of this item. Its unit cost if a cost is provided in the back office and its marginal profit. Below are two bar charts that represent the best days of the week and best times of day to sell the item, based on your sales history. You can use this info to better manage inventory and minimize wastage. And if we scroll a little further, we can see which of your staff are the best at selling this item over the last three months. Next up is the Magic Menu Quadrant, which is doing some really interesting analysis on your menu. It's a challenge to find out which menu items your guests really like. Sure, it might sound great on paper and result in a lot of initial orders, but if the guest chooses to never come back, what does that say about the execution? By tracking guest retention, we can assume the guest enjoyed their order and is coming back for more. Starting from the top left of our graph, we have the hidden gems, which represent items that have relatively low popularity, which just means they're not ordered as often. But they have high retention, meaning guests come back and order it again. What this signals is either you have guests with particular preferences, or these items aren't necessarily catching the attention of guests, but when they do, they love it. Next, we have the greatest hits. These items represent both high popularity and high retention. These items are doing great and are driving your success. On the bottom left, we have the underperformers, which shows menu items with both low retention and low popularity. These are items you should consider removing from your menu or revamping entirely because they're taking up real estate and aren't doing much for you. Lastly, on the bottom right, we have the one hit wonders which are items with high popularity but low retention, meaning a lot of people order them once but never order them again. This could mean that these items look great on paper but lack in execution. Consider revisiting these items. Perhaps you can change the ingredients or method in which they're prepared or presented. Hovering over any item in any of the quadrants brings up a small info box with rankings for both sales and customer retention. That covers the menu reports for Advanced Insights. If you still have questions or want even more details, you can check out the link to our help page on Advanced Insights in the description below.